Fan Expo Vancouver <laughs> is hosting, and this is, I think, the first Fan Expo, International Fan Expo that type event that Gina Carano has done. Oh, ha, ha. She was, of course, asked to be there. And uh, as to be expected, we had some, uh, l- let's say, dramatism. I guess we can call it that by, you can't even call these people fans, can you? Um, Pigs. <laughs> I like that. Pigs. Let's, let's call them that. Pigs. I'm going to actually pull up an article right now. We've talked about this before, but I haven't had a chance to shoot, a, shoot it with um, as about it. So I'm pulling this up right now. Two women over at Global News. And this is the headline, okay? It's kind of a state-funded propaganda. Yeah. Yeah, I I appreciate that context, right? It is (laughs) a state-funded propaganda publication, using that term loosely, okay? They say, slap in the face, ex-Mandalorian stars invite to Fan Expo prompts backlash. Mm. They needed two women to write about this. And this was what got me. Um, it talked about some other stars and one guest. The guest, not these other stars, the guest that is raising some eyebrows, of course, is, I mean, they treat her like she's Thanos. Gina Carano, of all people. However, her strong political views, as the article says, on issues such as... <laughs> <laughs> such as the 2020 U.S. election, uh, vaccines and the Holocaust. The people whose lives revolve around <laughs> their political ideology okay the holocaust have propped has prompted and, and it's so disingenuous right they set it up like she has some controversial views on like the holocaust or something and they know what it is they're doing this is the kind of conniving dipshittery that you get from these types to make it seem and of course they don't even go into detail like what is the ever so controversial thing that gina carano has done None of that is listed here. It's just that there's quote unquote strong political views, which just means not a leftist. Uh, and uh, Holocaust, like, okay, hell, whoa, why you see that? You read that, like, wait a minute. Oh, wow. You can't be saying anything about that that's, event. That's the whole point. Bingo. That's the whole, because th- they are purposely making sure that context doesn't matter. Yes. Facts. Because if they wanted to make it's like, Mm-hmm. You can ask, and this is the point that I made when I originally covered this. I said, I'm willing to bet this cosplayer that we're going to talk about, I'm willing to bet no cameras, doesn't need, don't need it. If you said, hey, what exactly did a, I just ask her, what exactly yes. did G- Gina Carano do that was uh, so abhorrent? Yeah. I'm willing to bet the house that they have, they don't have an answer for. I I, I think she'll say something uh, wishy washy, like, uh, oh, the, the, the beat bop boop. But if you said to her, explain the context of the post, the post of the Holocaust. Yeah. Talk it. Tell me about the context of that post. She won't be able to say shit. She won't, she won't be able to tell you shit. Yep. Because the hilarity is they are proving her right every fucking time they open their stupid, <laughs> ignorant, dumb, cancel pig mouths. Facts. Because this is exactly what Gene is talking about. An outside influence, be it political, comes into a neighborhood and says, hey, do you know that your neighbors, well, guess what? Those Republicans, those Jews, whatever it may be, they're no good. They're fucking scum. Really? Yeah, they're doing bad shit. Really? Oh, yeah, we're the good guys. She's proving them right every fucking time. The whole COVID thing proved, I mean, it was so fucking spot on, which was the context, right? And it's talking about people turning on, because that was the post, right? It was like, basically, it was talking about, you know, during that era, they didn't need to do much as far as, uh, uh, first and foremost, you know, you wonder why something like that happens is because they're sitting here turning the people on each other, right? And what the fuck happened? Like, what what happened during this whole deal? Well, you had people that wanted to criminalize folks for not getting a jab. That happened. Like, I mean, people can pretend that people can pretend like that was never a thing, but that's what happened. That 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 is quite literally what happened during that during that time. And everybody here in in the real world, you dealt with that. You dealt with people acting like you were the worst person in the world. You were killing grandmas if you went outside. You were you were doing it was so outrageous. It's kind of fun to laugh at it now, but that was not that long ago. And it was oh, fucking no. a crazy time. It was an insane time. If you look back at 
some of the shit that we had to deal with. And it wasn't just the coming from the government. It's coming from other people and maybe being led by by uh, the, the, the institution. Right. And, or maybe being having this propaganda and it working. But it was effective because y'all turned on a bunch of a, a bunch of people. People lost jobs, man. People lost their livelihoods because yep. of that. Right. Um, th- the shit wasn't funny. And, and and that happened. That actually happened. So you can't even, even do with the context of what it is that she was saying, it was right. It was yes. spot on. There was and nothing what have, wrong. What have we seen in pop culture, Eric? We've seen exactly the same thing. Disney, DC, Marvel, yeah. all of our entertainment companies. What have they done? They've turned the customers on each other. Mm-hmm. That's what they've done. I f- it, f- it felt, excuse me, like an enormous slap in the face to like everything the convention really should be standing for, considering they should know who is their target audience. Now, again, following that immediately, being young people, queer people, LG, since when were these the, the, if you don't mind asking me, since when were these the specific like target audience? And when I, when you, so target Enough. audience means you're specifically targeting these people. Now, considering the comic industry or, or, or any of that, since when, since when, was this the primary target demographic? When was this ever the focal point? Uh, about six years ago, seven years ago. Okay, so these people believe, right, because of fake narratives, hive minds that have infiltrated the industry, that mm-hmm. this is who they, who, who their target audience is. Now, I'm going to ask you another question, mm. give or take, percentage-wise of, let's just take these people right here, young Queer, dumb, LGBT, yeah, people, Retarded. yeah. What <laughs> well, going to a general con about comics? What do you think that percentage of the makeup of of those uh, participants are? Uh, I mean, if we're taking if we're taking out the people who are bullshitters, oh, the frauds, the yeah, because uh, the, the, there's there's ninety percent, ninety nine percent. Sorry, my bad. Ninety nine percent of 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 uh, transmissions on Twitter are fucking frauds. Mm-hmm. It's all just attention-seeking nonsense because it's a fad. So if we're talking actual reality, probably just the same as everything else, about 3%. Okay. So I guess the the position is, and this is what I, I, I'll finish in. I'll finish it real quick. People for all walks of life that are so diverse that it feels like it just completely goes against, you know, everything that they should be standing for. So why, this person... Why? Is- why? My question is why? Why should a place that just wants to sell fucking comics, why should they be standing up for your ideology? The guy's got a fucking business to run. Your fucking pink turquoise white flag and fucking you. I support Ukraine. uh, Nuclear weapons for Ukraine. uh, You know, uh, queers for Saudi Arabia. All of the fucking nonsense and that, that shit. World War III is the only way we can have peace. All that fucking bollocks that these fucking idiots spouse. Why is that? What's that got to do with a guy trying to sell some fucking books? Nothing. Gina Carano, according to this cosplayer, existing goes against everything the the con stands for. Again, according to this cosplayer, which is the, the target audience of young queer LGBT people. Look, I get it. There's a lot of confused I young don't. people. Well, well, I say I say this. I don't get it at all. <laughs> I say this much. There's a there's a lot of young and and extremely dumb people out there in the world that believe that their worldview, which was largely shaped by social media, is the worldview. They don't have a worldview, Eric, because they don't have a life. (laughs) You have to have a life to have a worldview. You have to actually be in the world to have a worldview. You have to have experienced things to have a worldview. Twitter is not a worldview. True. Social media is not a worldview. True. Somebody saying, oh, I like your cosplay when he's trying to fucking hit onto you, really, because he just wants to get to your knickers, is not a worldview. Yeah. Getting a heart, a like, a friend, a follow is not a worldview. Yeah. This is why they pick these nonsense fucking takes from online. Because they have nothing. Your personality isn't somebody else's take. However, 
That's what you want it to be. That's what drives you. Yeah. Safe space. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If you oh, think you need a safe space, don't leave your apartment. Stay there. Stay there. I think it's for the best. I just want I just want you to be happy and secure. Don't leave your apartment ever. Never. Let daddy government, let daddy uh, corporation just deliver everything to your doorstep. You never have to step outside again. You never have to feel scared again. You never have to have the person have a different opinion to you ever again. Heaven forbid. Never experience anything. Let us tell you how to run your life. We'll look after you. Daddy corporation. Daddy government. It's all the fucking same thing. Same, it, they are same in fucking business. Different name. Same thing. It's all in the Fucking cool. hell. It, Don't make yeah. me get the bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get the bubble wrap. I, I will. <laughs> but seriously, the fact that there's people that get get whipped into shape by these, you know, I guess that says a lot about you as a person, right? If you are allowing yourself to be whipped uh, into adopting the position of these batshit crazy people, right? Um, which is what's happening here. And, and well, uh, well, let me backtrack just a little bit. At least in the sense of Fan Expo, it looks like they added another day because she's that popular, right? Yes. And then that's uh, the reality. We, yeah, here's the that's the reality, right? And we talked to Drunk 3PO yesterday on Tuesday night's main event, and they're even considering adding a third day because that's how popular she is. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's the real that's the real world. And I think that look, I guess this can be said for a multitude of different things. I believe that people, it's comfort, it's a comfort thing, right? And they want to believe something so bad, they have to believe it. If they get any evidence to the contrary of their position, it, it's like it it hurts them. Hey, I've been lied to. I've been uh, I've been um, I, I've been led to believe something that simply was not true. So it's a very easy position to just have a position and never deviate from it whatsoever, right? And that's what you largely deal with with these idiotic people who they believe Gina Carano said something about some things, right? And I hate to bring up old shit, but it's true. I mean, if look no further than this. There's somebody that is that works with Lucasfilm as well. So actually, let, let me say this. Back to just just a tiny bit. So if the argument was that, okay, well, there was a comparison, and because you think that the uh that's off limits. Let's say you think that all of what happened under the guy with the funny mustache from Germany, nobody can say anything, reference it ever. Okay, cool. I think he's their best mate right now. <laughs> well, I don't they think have a they lot. Know of what the fuck's going on now? Um, they, it, it, you know, there's a lot of similarities. When people want to uh, watch my old videos, uh, uh, one called my essay called "Yes, the Nazis Were Socialists," uh, and then I, as I start breaking down some of the ideology as well as the especially economic philosophy, it starts to sound real familiar to some of the some of the positions it is that these guys have. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. nonetheless. Don't worry it, about it. Don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Nonetheless, even if I conceded that, okay, oh, it's off limits. Let's just take your stuff to the logical conclusion. There's another man that was not just another man. It's a co-star for the same company in the same fucking show. Yeah, it's Pedro Pascal. Okay, let's say his name. Pedro Pascal, <laughs> who did the, a similar thing, mm -hmm. but was just wrong. And even more disrespectful because he likened half the fucking voting population. He likened to... Republicans to Nazis. Yes. That's and, what he did. Uh, well, when he says Confederate, I don't think he knows what he's really saying there. But no. let's just go with the big one. If you're a Republican, you're a Nazi. That's that's essentially what he said. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's, that's, that's it's what exactly the... what he said. Yeah. Okay. It's exactly what he said. Did Lucasfilm do anything to this guy? Yeah. They gave him a promotion in the film. <laughs> It's it's almost as if that the comparison had nothing to do with with, with the the issues that they had with Gina Carano. Mm. Funny how we that works. We just want you to be inclusive. That's all. We just want you to be inclusive. And by inclusive, we mean we demand that you do what we want you to do. Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.